My name's Claire Stevenson and I currently work at the Jennings Centre and my time is split across three areas. So I work as a skills specialist on the protein crystallography facility where we solve the three-dimensional structures of proteins. I manage the biophysical analysis facility um, which has lots of expensive equipment used at looking at how biological molecules interact and then for the rest of the time I leave the technician commitment and the technician commitment work. So when I was at school I come from a medical family and I was always expected to be a doctor and I did quite well in my GCSEs, did my A-levels and I discovered drinking and going out and didn't work as hard as I should and that's a really important lesson I learned in life. And I didn't get the grades I should and consequently I decided I wanted to do biochemistry. Um, in hindsight, I don't think I wanted to do medicine, I think I actually wanted to do biochemistry so it was the right choice for me. Um, I went to Liverpool, John Moores University and that was quite a long time ago, that was back in 1989. I did a year in industry, that was really important because I got a lot of practical expertise and then I went back and graduated. And after my degree, worked for a commercial company looking at drug metabolism studies. So we used to look at the effectiveness of the drug for large pharmaceutical companies. I did that for three years, but I realised that that's not where I wanted to continue. I'd worked at two of the companies, so I knew there was nowhere else really to go. And whilst it was good, I'd got a lot of lab skills, I started to look around for something different, and that's when I applied for the job at Johnson Centre. So when I started joining the centre I had a degree and I realised after being here for a while that actually having a PhD in research is quite important and I was really lucky that GIC enabled me to do a part-time PhD while I was working so I did a full-time job. I studied for a part-time PhD and I also had a child at the same time. So I had my son in 2005, he was born on my birthday um, and I took six months maternity leave off um, and I came back to work when he was six months old and then I wrote up my PhD so it was quite a stressful time and it was quite hard returning to work after having a child but I always knew that I wanted to do that and looking back I felt it was the right choice. And then in and around about 2012, the crystallography changed from a research group to being a scientific facility. So I carried on doing similar things, but instead of having my own projects, I helped enable other people in their projects with my specialist skills. And at a similar time, I started to learn some biophysical analysis techniques. So many years ago, um, I was involved with our own it was called Research Technical Voice and I was responsible for setting that up to represent all staff that didn't have a voice. In 2017, John and his centre signed the technician commitment and I was instrumental in getting that rolling and it's an area I'm really passionate about that um, all staff should have a valid career pathway and they should be recognised and visible for what they do and everybody contributes to the wider picture of research. I really enjoy that aspect. I do it 10% of my time alongside my science role. Um, and now I do a lot. I've set up the Research Institute Technician Group, which is nine different institutes. So I do a lot of work now externally, showing, sharing the good practice at GIC, but learning from other people's good practice and bringing that back into the institute. So although I've been at John Innes Centre now for 25 years this year, which sounds like an awful long time, actually I've changed a lot as a, per as a person in that time. Um, so I've learnt a wide range of technical skills, a wide range of scientific skills. You know, I write publications, I can submit grants. I'm a real expert in some real specialist skills. Um, and, but I've also developed as a person in terms of we have a lot of opportunities for giving talks and seminars, confidence. I'm a line manager now, so I've, I've developed that area. The, th the three years I worked in industry, I was a line manager for two staff. So I had more line management experience there than I did when I first started GIC. And I'm now a line manager now, so I'm coming back to what I learned all them years ago. Um, and I also did a lot of project management in that role. Um, and some financial cross-charging and now I run a facility I think that's been really useful and there's so much I still want to do and develop in and I think you know 
I really passionately believe that life is about lifelong learning and if you take opportunities. And sometimes the opportunities that you take, you don't know where they will lead. And it's a perfect example. Uh, in 2021, I've been asked, I've been offered a secondment with the Science Council to help lead for the technician, as Associate Lead for Technician Commitment for UK. Uh, and John in the Centre is supporting me to do that. So for 10% of my time, I'll be doing external work. And that's something that I didn't expect to happen. It's something that I'm really excited about because I want to contribute to the bigger change of policy and research culture. And that happened because of me starting off with technician commitment or even the technician voice all them years ago. So sometimes taking on a different direction can lead different ways and that's what a career pathway is about.